If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. The Pay Down Credit Card Transaction window in QuickBooks Online provides a simplified transaction window specifically for making payments on credit card account balances. It provides the same basic function as entering an expense, check, or bill when recording a payment on a credit card balance. However, it is a bit more streamlined than entering a credit card bill and then paying the bill. It can also be a convenient way to record an extra credit card payment when you haven't yet received a credit card bill or if you are making an electronic payment on a credit card that doesn't involve a check number per se. To create a pay down credit card transaction in QuickBooks Online, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then select the pay down credit card link under the other heading in the menu that appears to open the pay down credit card window. Select the name of the credit card account from the which credit card did you pay drop down. Optionally, select the name of the vendor for the credit card account from the Payee drop-down. Type the amount paid into the How Much Did You Pay field. Then select the payment date from the Date of Payment calendar date selector. Select the name of the bank account from which you made the payment from the What Did You Use to Make This Payment drop-down. To record a check payment, Check the I made a payment with a check checkbox. To record a check number for existing checks, then type it into the check number field. Alternatively, to mark the check as a check to print later, check the print later checkbox. To add notes or attachments, click the memos and attachments section title to expand it. To add notes for the credit card payment, type them into the memo field. To add attachments, use the Attachments field. If needed, to cancel entering the credit card payment transaction and close the window, click the Cancel button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. Then click Yes in the message window that appears to confirm it. Alternatively, to clear the information but leave the window open, click the Clear button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. Then click Yes in the message window that appears to confirm it. To save the credit card payment transaction, Click the Save button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. Alternatively, to save the transaction and either close the window or enter a new credit card payment transaction, click or select a choice from the adjacent Save and Close slash Save and New drop-down button. To open a recently saved credit card payment transaction, click the Recent Transactions button in the upper left corner of the window and then select the transaction to open from the menu that appears. After opening a previously saved transaction, the More link appears in the middle of the toolbar at the bottom of the window. To void or delete the transaction or open its transaction journal or audit history reports, click the More link in the toolbar. Then select either Void, Delete, Transaction Journal, or Audit History from the pop-up menu that appears as needed. If you select Void or Delete, then select your desired yes or no choices in the confirmation dialog box that opens to confirm your choices. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.